When I told you that I was thinking about quitting YouTube, you all were so supportive that it just no longer was an option. So I had to look into, there's so many cars, I'm giving up, I'll tell you inside. When I started my first YouTube channel in 2018, I didn't think I'd last long. Many years later, I can't imagine not creating videos, sharing my journey and my knowledge. Number 83. Why I'm not quitting. Early April 2024. Okay, let's try this again now that I'm inside and the cars can't be this annoying. Beba, what's wrong? When I announced that I was thinking about quitting YouTube, you all were so supportive. And I knew that I wanted to continue telling my story, but I didn't like what YouTube, aka Google, was doing, so I was doubtful that it was worth all of it. But thanks to you, I found a solution. But when I told you about my doubts, your support made me realize that I wasn't imagining people caring. Some of you offer to follow me wherever I take this, and it means the world, seriously. For the past month, I've been degoogling my life. Not easy for a YouTuber. Degoogling means switching from large corporations like Google to smaller, open source and or self-hosted services. Don't worry, we'll start dealing with this overgrown mess of a garden next episode. We quit our subscriptions for Netflix, YouTube Premium, Amazon Prime, Dropbox and many more. Hold on, I'll quickly grab some eggs from the neighbor's chicken under these watchful eyes. In case you're new here, all this is trash left by the previous owners of the garden plot. I'm slowly dealing with driving it to the dump. The cracked rain barrels are going to the neighbor for feed. Where was I right? My husband set up alternative services on our own servers and slowly we moved everything over. I digitized our CDs after we quit Spotify. I transferred all the data to new backup solutions. The headache remained my channel, and that after a month of YouTube going downhill. At the end of fall, I'd release a summary video of my first three months in this garden. Through that video, I made it past monetization, gained a lot of subscribers, and had two months with many views. But then winter and YouTube changes turned the trajectory upside down. Instead of gaining subscribers, getting views and ad revenue, things spiraled downward. I lost almost a thousand subscribers over the course of a few short weeks. Some of that was people who'd signed up for fast-paced three-month summaries. Some of it was people leaving YouTube. Some of it was YouTube cracking down on fake accounts. It still made me want to give up. The only one making money with my videos was Google. I definitely wasn't. I've made a little under 900 bucks total, almost all of it in the first weeks since monetization. And to this day, way too many views come from people watching my barefoot video number eight for the wrong reasons. Don't get me wrong, I'm totally fine with those of you here who say it's lovely when I show my feet. But some of the playlists which list the video?
then I told you all about my doubts. And you showed me, in the most beautiful way possible, that my viewers were more than foot fetishists, bots and fake accounts. You showed me how much you care. Some of you even donated that day. I was overwhelmed to say the least. I can't say this enough. I can't say this enough. I appreciate all of you. You're wonderful and I love this little community. Side note, despite my best efforts, the stuffing from this disgusting thing spread everywhere. It took me forever to pick up the tiny pieces of plastic foam. Ew. But one more round of trash was done, so I felt content and in need of a bath. The tulips came and went. I'm thinking what to plant above the bulbs for summer. I also added goat herding to my achievements that day. She's not supposed to be in my garden. Once she was safely returned to her sister and a lunch break and a trash drive later, I returned to the garden. There was still the matter of the second hut that was supposed to be water storage. While I demolish the roof, let me tell you what I came up with for the future of this channel. There will also be a very short tutorial at the very end for the less tech savvy. My husband has set up Peertube for me. It's a self-hosted open source alternative to YouTube. Instead of relying on Google and their whims, people upload their videos on many servers instead. There are no ads, none. There isn't a system for them. At this point, the entire roof is holding on by the actual outer sides and one beam. And that beam isn't even attached to the side. So at any point, this is going to come down, but it's not coming down. Shareholders have no power on Peertube because there is no corporation behind it all. I would love to pull the plug here on YouTube now, but not everyone will be able to follow me. Heck, I can't even reach most of you. Of my more than 5,000 subscribers, only a couple hundred get shown my videos. So for the time being, probably until YouTube does something else really ridiculous, I'll keep posting on both platforms. I hope one day most of you will have moved to something like Peertube, away from YouTube. But for now, YouTube has a lot of power. If I remove my videos here, I won't be able to reach my viewers. I'd keep the work and the cost, but lose the benefit. My lovely little community. You guys. So I have to compromise. I have to keep my channel here. I hate knowing Google will benefit most. If you want to learn how to use Peertube, stick around. Otherwise, so long and thanks for being here. This is what my channel looks like on Peertube. All my videos are now listed here. To watch, you don't need an account. If you wish to subscribe or leave a comment, you do. If you already have a Peertube account somewhere, you can use that. Otherwise, a Mastodon account is probably a lot easier. You just click create account and follow the on-screen instructions. My account is with mastodon.social, but you can use whichever to sign up. They are all connected. I already have an account, so I'll stop here and log in instead. To subscribe or comment, you'll need your Mastodon handle. I'll show you where to find it. 
All you need to do is to click on your username in your profile view. Back on Peertube, you now have all you need to subscribe or comment. Just paste your handle. If you wish to comment, you need that same handle the first time you try. You paste it into the box when prompted and that connects you. It will look like you are commenting on Mastodon, because technically you are, but it shows up on PureTube too. See? It's there! And finally, there are buttons for support and liking the videos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.